2022. Honorable members, you may recall that on 20th March 2023, the National Assembly passed the Penal Code Amendment Bill, National Assembly Bill Number 56 of 2022, which was sponsored by the member for Nakuru Town East, the Honorable David Gikaria, MP. The bill sought to repeal sections 182 of the Penal Code, Cap 63. Following its passage, I presented the bill for assent to the President in accordance with the provisions of Article 115 of the Constitution. Honorable members, I wish to convey to the House that I have since received a memorandum from His Excellency the President referring the bill back to the House for a consideration in accordance with the provisions of Article 115 of the Constitution. In the memorandum, His Excellency the President has expressed reservations on Clause 2 of the bill and notes in Talia that were the bill to be ascended to in its present form without offering alternative offenses or sanctions, the bill will effectively render certain indecent, immoral, or disruptive public conduct to be acceptable. That the repeal of Section 182 shall encourage the commission of the acts covered under Section 182 and allow persons to freely behave in a disorderly or indecent manner in a public place and conduct themselves in a manner likely to cause a breach of the peace and that the repeal undermines the credibility of criminal law and may promote public disorder and disobedience. Further, a blanket decriminalization of conduct that a majority considers delinquent undermines the reputation of the law as a reliable moral authority that should be obeyed. Consequently, His Excellency the President recommends deletion of the said clause of the bill, which, as a matter of fact, is the primary content of the bill. Honorable Member, standing order 154 2 requires the House to consider the President's reservations within 21 days upon receipt of a memorandum. In this regard, the memorandum from the President now stands committed to the Department of Committee on Justice and Legal Affairs for consideration. The Committee is required to table its report soonest to allow the House to consider the President's reservations within the said timelines. Honorable Members, May I at this point remind the House of the Speaker's communication of 28th July 2015 concerning the consideration of the President's reservations to a bill and amendments thereto. I particularly draw your attention to the guidance that the voting threshold for the passage of amendments proposed by a committee or an individual member that have the effect of fully accommodating the President's reservations is a simple majority as contemplated under Article 122.1 of the Constitution as read together with Article 1152A. On the other hand, an amendment that does not fully accommodate the President's reservations, or indeed one that has the effect of a total override of the President's reservations, including negating his proposed text, would require a two-thirds majority vote two-thirds voting threshold to be passed in keeping with the provisions of Article 1154 of the Constitution. In conclusion, Honorable Members, I hereby direct the clerk to circulate the memorandum from His Excellency the President to all members so that they familiarize themselves with its contents. I thank you. Next. Order number four, petitions. Order number five, papers. Majority Leader. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I beg to deliver the following papers on the table of the House today, Thursday, May 2nd, 2024, in the afternoon sitting. One. The following statutory instruments from the Minister of Mining, Blue Economy, and Maritime Affairs. A. Legal Notice Number 40 of 2024 relating to the Mining, Mine Support Services, Amendment Regulations, and Explanatory Memorandum. B. Legal Notice Number 41 of 2024 relating to the Mining, Dealing in Minerals, Amendment Regulations, and Explanatory Memorandum. C. Legal Notice Number 42 of 2024 relating to the mining gemstone identification <coughs> value addition 
fees regulations on the explanatory memorandum d legal notice number 43 of 2024 related